Welcome to Hump Cinema. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and enjoy the video. Hey, Pappy, you know, you're surrounded by all this ice and snow all day. That must make you a pretty cool dude. Thank you, dear brother. I am a pretty cool dude. Though I don't see what that has to do with snow. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sans! Uh, Papyrus? Hey, chill out, bro. <laughs> I can't believe you, Sans. You've done it again. But you have not bested the Great Papyrus just yet. <laughs> Spending some time in the snow path should cool you off. <laughs> it chills me to the bone, bro. You're so cold hearted. What is it, Sans? Knock knock. No, never! No! Come on, bro. <sighs> Who's there? Pasta. Pasta who? The spaghetti gonna pasta away. <laughs> <laughs> knock knock! Eh? Knock knock! Who's there? Ice cream! Ice cream who? Ice cream if you make my jokes oh, like that oh, again! God. Wait a second. Oh god, brother, why? <laughs> what did you do to me? I'm so proud of you, Pap. <laughs> brother, hmm. there you are. Hmm? As much as I encourage the exercise, brother, I think this is a little much. For three in the morning. Uh, are we in the Hotlands? Yes. You were sleepwalking again, weren't you? Whoops, never been this far before. Heh. <laughs> Must have caught a chill and came here to warm up. Next time I'll stay in the corner, cause, you know, they're 90 degrees. No jokes, Sans! This is serious! Aw, oh, come on, Pap. No harm done, right? Besides, I can't help it, remember? <sighs> You're right. Luckily, I've come up with a temporary solution. Uh, Bell? Seriously, dude? Yes, seriously. At least until we solve this issue. Oh, uh, boy. Now I will know when you leave and where you are, so I can safely return you home. Come on. Don't take it off, Sans. <sighs> I won't. I mean it! I won't take it off. I was really worried, Sans. This is the fifth time I've had to come out and look for you this week. I had no idea where you were. What if you went somewhere and something bad happened? I need to be there, you know? I don't know what I would do if... Aw, oh, Pap, I'm alright. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to worry ya. I know you can't help it. So it is my responsibility as your brother to aid you through this problem. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go home, Sans. Okay. You're the coolest papyrus. I know. So, my children, can anyone tell me what 2 plus 2 is equal to? And don't be shy. Oh, oh, pick me! The great papyrus would like to answer. <laughs> yes, papyrus? Obviously, 2 plus 2 is equal to 22. Um, I'm sorry, papyrus, but 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Not 22. You made a commendable effort, though. W what How can this be? Psst. Hey, Papyrus, I guess you could say... Don't you dare finish that thought, Sans! You? Sans, I will harm you! Just... Sans! Got... Sans! Schooled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pap, what you doing? Just making my famous spaghetti. Would you like some, Sans? Nah, just make sure you don't... Spaghetti the Tometi! Forget to feed Frisk. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow, Papyrus, I think today's cooking lesson went really well. In fact, I think you deserve this. Go Wowie! Another victory for the great Papyrus! Hey kid, wanna go to Grillby's? I know a shortcut. 
There's no place like Grillby's. There's no place like Grillby's, am I right? Cool shortcut, huh? What? Sand, 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 sand. Oh, Baba. Anyway, moving on. Guess who's next? Yeah, the Undying Undine. Especially the Undying Undine. Undine, 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 go Undine. Never, Wowie! Oh my God, I made it! I'm a beast. You're a beast. I'm a pro. You're a pro, bro. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. You're gonna puke. Uh, bro, I think the sausage just smashed my jaw. The sushis are swimming against the flow. Uh, come on, you two! The great papyrus needs his cheering. Hey, bro, you know where? Not now, brother. What's up? I've lost my cell phone, and I can't find it anywhere. Where could I have left it? Where is my freaking phone? And I'm please. We are still paying for the last couch you destroyed. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. We interrupt this boring schedule to bring you terrifying news. There's a burglar in Monster Neighborhood. Cell phones are disappearing left and right. Yeah! Another installment for nothing! Hey, kid. You've been looking through the window for some time now. What you looking at? Oh, no. Do you think they got my phone, too? Eh, don't worry about it, T. We're gonna get you a new one. Say, what's the kid doing? Listen, Papyrus, I may not have the most sage advice to give to you, and I might not always be around by your side, but just know this, if anyone even dares to mess with you, ever, well, <laughs> they'll partially believe what they've gotten themselves into. Sans! But they better hurry up and run, they won't even see what's coming for them. Sans, what are you doing? Maybe I'll find out what they're allergic to and give them chives. Oh my god, no! Nah, I need a more oregano idea than that one. Too simple. I want them running away cyan. Sans, I thought we were having an emotional moment! And why are you even getting those? But I gotta think of something for messing with my tumeric brother. He's so chilly. Sans! Ah, anyways, what I'm trying to say to you is that I clove you very much and until the end of time. <laughs> my dear... Brother? <laughs> Happy co- One, but it's kind of stupid. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Come on, of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's See guys, totally safe. Neato, huh? <laughs> Oops. Wow, my glad skeletons don't feel pain. Dad, please treat this seriously. You're right. I'm going to go get something to clean this up. Sans. Hmm? Metaton. What are you doing here? You know you have a bad influence on Papyrus. People ship you two every time you stand next to each other. I just found out that you are more popular than me! ME! Only because you have a glowing eye. I also have one, and I'm not even half as popular as you, Sans. Tell me your secret. You... have? <laughs> well, of course I do. They can be seen only on genocide, just like yours. Okay, first, we both agreed never to mention your fight on Genocide Rat. Um... And about the eye, you just have to show it only when you're about to use an attack that's really hard to dodge. This way, whenever the player sees that eye, they'll know that moment when death is coming. Sans! Both my eyes glow. Both. Why? I'm not popular, Sans. 
Why? <laughs> Amateurs. Can somebody please tell me why this comic has waist up drawn characters? It'd be way more interesting with my legs included. So, Sans, why do you want me to prepare for a bath? I wanted you to try this spaghetti. Wowee, Sans! First time I like is bad puns. Cry. Are you serious? Can't you just do it normally? Hey Sans, aren't you cold in that sweater? Snowden's cold as balls, you know. Eh, I don't feel much of anything. Oh right, cause you're a skeleton. The cold just goes right through you. Sure. Alright human, I'm going to get my next attack ready. You better prepare yourself. <laughs> What? Oh, darn it all! Shoo! Shoo! You're way too dangerous for a human battle! Shoo! Don't whine! Heh, <laughs> love the blasters, bro. You always get the best googly eyes. I don't know why that keeps happening. Rah! Pew pew! Sans, knock that off! The blasters are not toys! At least use your own if you're going to play with them. Okay, okay. It's safe here. We just have to wait it out. Once they get to the castle, Sans, Sans will, will die. <laughs> Is the word you're looking for? The child will kill him. Then they will kill Asgore. And then they will kill everyone else. Do you really want to hide away down here forever, doing nothing? What the heck do you expect me to do? I expect you to try! You're not useless, Alphys. With the support of those closest to you, you could slay demons. Stop talking in riddles and get to the point. Uh, fine. The point is I have an idea. But you're not gonna like it! <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think I'd fall for that? <sighs> so, I guess that's it. You! Cuffness? Really? You too? I just beat Sans. What makes you think you have a chance? I don't. She does! What the fu- <laughs> The royal scientist is no fool. But, in order to traverse His Majesty's lovingly tended flower garden to reach the royal throne, he must act like one. Ugh. Worse, His Majesty doesn't appear to be present. He must be out back, which requires I find a way across the entire field. Far be it from me to destroy his hard work for the sake of his convenience. But the pain I must go through do not stop. On a single bloody puzzle! It's more exercise than an old man like me should have to endure. Ha ha, Gaster. There you are. So glad you could make it. Ah, as expected. That would explain his absence from the royal throne. But the doctor shall remedy. Honestly, sire, your garden is, as beautiful as it is, untraversable. For all the effort you put into it, how do you forget to build a bloody pathway? <laughs> oh, but then I wouldn't get to watch you dance. <laughs> hmm. Not enough. Tepid at best. Uh, 
Well, I thought I could make myself useful to you by reporting today's progress on the core. But that would be a waste of time, wouldn't it? Evidently, I am far better suited for the role of court jester. Oh, <laughs> and we fools have no understanding of science, so... What am I even doing here? I shall take my nonsense elsewhere. Good day, sire! Oh good, I get to watch you dance some more. Indeed, in the name of His Majesty the King, I prance! <laughs> the royal scientist is no fool. <laughs> but indeed not one of my breakthroughs have, or ever will cheer him up like this. I'm making progress that will benefit all of the underground, that is true. <laughs> oh, come join me for tea. You can tell me everything then. But each of his smiles shows some progress of a different kind. No. And despite my better judgment, my priorities are beginning to shift. So I will play the fool for his majesty, if it gives him reason to smile. In your service, my sire.